Hi, welcome to Mark on Technology. Today I'm going to show how I've hooked up a Trinity 9XR uh, transmitter with an uh, open LRS transceiver and to turn the transceiver actually into the transmitter part and I'm going to show you how all of that is wired together. Now you can find the schematic from uh, Flytron who makes the uh, transceiver and it's available some other places as well. Uh, Hobby King has a version of the Open LRS and some other people do and uh, I've looked around trying to figure out uh, how all the wiring works and basically it's pretty simple but the documentation as usual is kind of sketchy and you have to go hunting around so I thought I'd put it all in one place. Let's start by looking at the uh, 9XR. You can see there's pins in the back and uh, you only need three in this case. You see uh, the bottom pin is ground uh, or actually that's pin two coming up from the bottom. Pin three up from the bottom is power and the very top pin is the PPM signal. So if I can get a good shot of that. Anyway, so that's what comes out and then feeds everything. You see I have a long red wire here that feeds here to a 5-volt uh, regulator because the uh, open LRS wants to be fed 5 volts. And as a matter of fact, you need to be careful if you program it through the serial header do not put 5 volts here. You will blow up the transmitter on the back side. This needs to have 3.3 volts. But you can power it through 5 volts through the serial header or the uh, servo header here. And so you'll see I have a small regulator right here. Uh, it's just a T09 package. And the power coming in and then 5 volts going out, that's this wire here, and it goes into the center of the pins on the LSR, uh, or the LRS. And of course grounds in there, and so on. There's a couple of other signals you need. Obviously the PPM signal is very important coming out of the transmitter. Again, that's the top pin. And it goes in get a good shot of it here it goes into pin 5 counting from the left 1 2 3 4 5 and that's where you feed the signal in uh, pin the green wire you see here that goes to the button that uh, is your bind button and um, your safe mode button I'll show how that works in a second. And then uh, you have the buzzer or the beeper. And that is pin 3. And that takes a little more circuitry. That actually goes through a 1000 ohm resistor. Uh, and I'm using a uh, 2N222 transistor as a switch. And so uh, the uh, signal feeds to the base. And then you see 5 volts here going through a 330 ohm resistor, which goes through the buzzer. And then when the uh, transistor switches on, that uh, sends that voltage through the transistor to ground here. And so there you go. That's really the whole circuit. Now the way it works is you have to hold down the uh, bind button when you turn on the transmitter and that will put the uh, transmitter in receive mode and so if you hold on a second I will hold that button down and turn it on and there you are it is waiting to bind. To bind this, over here I have a battery, 
the usual voltage guy. So I will plug this in. Give me one moment. And now you see we have uh, two lights, a blue light and a red light on the receiver. And uh, stopped beeping. We have a red light on the transmitter. And now we need to turn the transmitter off and back on. So that's off. Back on. And now we're bound. And I have a switch on the transmitter over here that when I flip it, you see, I get signal uh, through the transmitter over to the receiver. Now to do the safe mode, you simply put the uh, servos in the position you want. You hold down the bind button. So you get that beep. And when you do that, I'll do it again, watch the receiver you see that flashing lights? That's the signal going to the receiver telling it, remember this mode. So that when I, uh, I'll move the servo here, and I'll turn off the power on the receiver, and you see it goes immediately into its safe mode position. And when I turn it back on, and it rebinds, there you go. I have control again. So uh, that's the basic wiring for a 9XR uh, uh, beeper, power supply, how to bind it, and how to do safe mode. Uh, I hope this makes it easier for you. I would have liked to have had this documentation when I did it. Thank you. That's uh, Mark on Technology.